Hi, this is Lashana from Girl Talk with Lashana, and this is in response to Atia's channel, Smooth Complexions. Are you the main chick or the sidekick? Um, you know, over the years I've dealt with, you know, different people, my friends, and um, just different issues in, in my life where the, the question has always come up with, oh, how do you feel about being the side chick or the main chick or whatever? And I... You know, honestly, if you are the main chick, then there is no side chick. You know, um, the idea of being okay with being a main chick or a, a side chick and knowing there are other women that the, the man you're involved with is dealing with is ridiculous to me. I mean, the reason these men are disrespecting women the way they are is you teach a person how to treat you and if you're allowing a man to sleep with you and sleep with a girl across town or next door or whatever then that's what he's going to do and at the end of the day you know women we're the ones with the power we're the ones that men are lying to the other women or lying to us or whatever trying to get to what it is that we have so if we're the powerful ones then why are we giving them the power and allowing them to sleep with us and other women or, or deal with us and other women. That is ridiculous to me. I mean, you know, and, and to say, well, I'm, I, you know, as long as I'm number one, I don't care. You, if you're number one, there is no number two or number three. You know, if you're number one, then you are the only one. You know, if you do your research and people say, well, why is it that, you know, um, more women have uh, HIV or AIDS than men? And the reason is if you have one man and he's sleeping with five women and he's HIV positive, then he's the one guy in the scenario and the other women and the women in the scenario, however many there are, then that's how more women have it. I mean, why are you allowing these men to walk all over you? Um, and not getting too far off into religion, you know, but God created women to be the balance. You know, we're... We are the creator of life. We give breath to babies. I mean, your body is a temple. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that over the years I haven't had, you know, I you know, haven't had different guys I've dealt with or I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I'm just, you know, I've always been just sweet and innocent because, you know, I haven't. And, you know, at 33 years old, before I got married and before I, you know, had my children, you know, I kind of was, you know, doing my own thing. But I was a teenager and I not making excuses, but as a teenager, you're not thinking about, you know, what's down the street, around the corner, and up the hill. You're thinking about the here and now. But then as a woman, the mother of three children, my focus is not, you know, whether or not um, the girl next door or down the street is going to come knocking on my door asking about some man. You know, it's like, ladies, respect yourself and make him respect you. And another reason these guys are doing the things that they're doing is... Rather than, you know, you find out that your man is messing with another woman and you get with that woman like a woman, you know, and, and talk to her and be civilized with her. It is not her fault. It, just like it's not your fault that he's lying the way he is. But why would you call her and attack her when he is the one who's at, at fault? I mean, if we would start, you know, talking to each other and stop attacking each other over these men, then these men can play the games they play. They play it because we allow it. You know, and he, you know, you're dealing with John. John is dealing with you and Kim. You know, so you and Kim are each other's throats and hate each other and see each other in public and want to curse each other out and act real ignorant in front of other people. I mean, just looking like a real fool when while you and Kim are arguing over in a corner, he's off somewhere else getting Tasha's phone number. And now he's going to add Tasha to the equation. They have Tasha hating the, the two of you all. So now you have three women who are not talking, who are not communicating. And that's how he's able to continue sleeping with all of you all. I mean, pull yourself together. At the end of the day, I would rather be by myself with my self-respect than laid up with some man, you know, listening to his phone ring or listening to text messages come through his phone and he's not answering them, knowing that, you know, it's one of the other women that he's dealing with. I mean, you have to respect yourself before anybody will respect you. And ladies, you all that have children or, you know, boys or girls, um, if you have sons and you're allowing these men to come in and out of your lives and you're allowing them to play games with you and other women, then you're teaching your sons, then that's, that's the right thing to do. 
because if them if their mother excuse me I'm sorry if their mother will deal with that then what do you think that they're gonna fight they should do to other women because to a little boy his mother is the epitome of what a woman is and that's what he looks for so he's gonna go looking for women that will allow him to play games with him with them I'm sorry you know, or if you have daughters and you're teaching your daughters that it's okay to be one of the bunch of women that some man is dealing with. And how are you going to look at your daughter or your son when, you know, something tragic happens? I mean, what if they get some sort of disease? You know, if it's something they can take a pill or for or get a shot to cure, then, okay, you, you pat them on the hand and that's a lesson learned. But what if they get something that is ultimately going to kill them? And it's all because you set the foundation. You you set the idea of what it is that your children think is right. I mean, side chick, that is crazy. Main chick, that's crazy. I'm not going to be one of, you know, a couple different women. I've never dealt with a man that was too much man for me to handle by himself. Where I had to share him with some other woman for her to pick up the slack. I mean, ladies, pull yourself together and understand that you are a queen. You are something very, very valuable and special. And don't let someone treat you like you're less than. So, I mean, that is, that's how I feel about the whole thing. I mean, I'm sure that I'm hoping that some of you all will hear my message and, and you know, have a moment of clarity and say, you know what, I don't have to deal with this anymore. And I'm sure that some of you all will say, that girl is crazy. She doesn't know what she's talking about. I'm going to still deal with him because he's good to me. He pays my bills or whatever. But ladies, it's it's not worth it. You know, it's not worth it. Him paying your bills is pay your own bills. Take care of what it is that you need to do on your own. And that way, when you wake up in the morning and you look yourself in the face, in the mirror, you can be proud of who's looking back at you. So, I hope that I was able to help somebody. If I can help one person, then this was all worth it. So, thank you for your time, and I, I wish you all the best. Talk to you later. Bye.